Hi guys, I wanted to share something with you that I made today that is just over the top. I made these chicken fajita bombs, literally four ingredients. Frozen dinner rolls, yes. Chicken, fajita seasoning, and cheddar cheese. That's it, seasoning on the inside, seasoning on the top. They came together in just minutes and I have the whole step-by-step -step process to share with you. So I actually made these as an after-school snack for today, but I think these would be great for like dinner or for party appetizers. So take a look, take a taste, and let me know what you think. Okay, first take frozen dinner rolls. I did six, you can do eight, 10, however many. Thaw them according to the package directions, and then when they're thawed, split each one in half, so you'll have double what you started with. There they are. Set them aside, and then we want to saute some chicken in some olive oil. I did one large chicken breast. It was probably about a half a pound, diced up into bite-sized pieces. And you just want to get that golden brown on all sides. Then sprinkle with about two tablespoons of your favorite fajita seasoning. I buy mine at my local farmer's market. And we're going to do two tablespoons of that and get it good and coated all over the chicken. Then we're going to add about a quarter to a third of a cup of water, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And that's going to make a nice thick coating for the chicken. So just cook it until the liquid evaporates. Now we're going to take those dinner rolls, roll them out into little circles, top with about a tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese. And when that chicken's cool enough to handle, you're going to put one, two, three pieces, depending on how big you cut them, on top. Now pull up the sides, pinch them together, like you're making a little beggar's purse, a little bundle. Pinch them all together like that. And now you have a little bomb. So we're going to transfer those to a parchment lined baking sheet and brush them with olive oil. A good quality olive oil because you're definitely going to taste it. So we'll make sure that we get every one. And what I like to do at this point is because I've smushed the dough, I want to let them rise. After I sprinkle them with a little bit more of that taco seasoning, Fajita seasoning. You can use taco seasoning too. Now you want to bake the bombs at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And here they are. The cheese is melted. The bread is tender. And we're just going to dunk it in some salsa. Your favorite salsa. There it is. Easy breezy, right?